What's up everybody, Tom Cotton here with an Automaton 1.2 update for you. Some really good uh, feature suggestions and I have tried to incorporate all of them I believe in this update. So let's, let's jump right ahead, I'll show you what has changed since 1.1. First on the list is the open button, now is a close button as well. A very simple change but it's very handy if you wish to MIDI map this to something. So that's a very 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 simple one there. The second feature is now any rack can be chosen as uh, to be modulated by the automaton. It's no longer the first rack in the track. So if we go over to my percussion track here, you'll see we actually have two racks. We have percussion and we have percussion two. So I'm gonna go into my automaton and I'm gonna list those and I'm gonna pick percussion two, hit the init button and open it up and you'll see now we have percussion two, which brings me to my next point. You'll see that the tabs now all update their name based on the rack that you have selected in the main device area so that's really 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 handy um, now we have also a re-trigger function so you see I have a filter frequency on this first one here let's just open it up so that's just opening it up over one bar again if we go over to our percussion track you can see it opening up the filter for us there very good back to the automaton we now have a re-trigger function so by hitting the re-trigger, it's going to re-trigger just that particular module over and over. This is mini-mappable. So if you just want to keep re-triggering that for some reason, you can do so. There's also a freeze function. So that will freeze the modulation uh, module in its place. So that parameter will be fixed until you unfreeze it. Very good. We also have a reverse feature. So now the modulation modules will play backwards if you choose to do so. So those are the three addition um, kind of functions that you can do. The most exciting thing is we now have preset shapes. Now it's a basic set of shapes so far. Um, we've got signs, we've got uh, double sign, triple, quad, triangles, saw ups, saw downs, squares, and square 25s and square 75s as well. So these are your basic shapes at the moment. I am going to be adding in some more shapes eventually, um, but just for now, this is uh, be cool. So you can very quickly just choose something like a sign, for example. Let me just freeze this here. Give it some resonance so you can really hear it. A bit too much. We have the resonance coming up. Let's bring the phasing width up and we'll bring the phasing frequency up and the feedback right up there. Let's choose a triangle three. Let's clear this and open it right up. Very good, so that's it. In the next update, I hope to be able to have user presets so you can make your own shape and then you can save them and then you can restore them at a later stage. But I need to spend a few more hours to figure out how I can add that functionality. So any more feature requests or suggestions, please post in the Cosmonauts Facebook group or head over to my Discord server. The links are in the description. Thank you very much. Have a good day.